Bobby W6IW in here. Today I'm bringing you the Baofeng UV5R M plus GPS. Wow, that is a mouthful. Did I get that even <laughs> right? I am proud to announce to you that this Baofeng actually does do something different than the other ones that I'm aware of. I don't know any of them that do this yet. And for anyone that can actually comment below and tell me the total amount of Baofeng models that have been produced out there, I will give you a cookie. Okay, what makes this different? It has GPS. They took out the light here. They put in a GPS module, which is actually pretty decent. I'm getting 10 satellites inside, which I'm surprised I'm getting the lock inside. Anyhow, if someone else has another one of these UV5RM plus GPS radios, you can set it up where you can send your location between the radios, which I thought was pretty cool. The other ones, I don't see the habit. It also has 640 channels and 10 banks. So then you can sort your stuff out. You can have your ham radio in one bank. You could have GMRS in one bank. You have analog with fire in one bank or your simplex frequencies in another bank, satellites, whatever. However you want to set it up, the radio can do that. Uh, it's got the NOAA weather, the FM radio, all of the typical stuff. It has the USB-C charging. And I know you're probably thinking, wow, that looks like the UV-5R. Actually, here is a UV-5R. For comparison, it is much bigger. Uh, it has a color screen. This doesn't have a color screen. <clears throat> it comes with a 2500 milliamp battery. We'll get all into that here in a little closer up in detail. Okay, some other features this radio may or may not have, I cannot confirm in the future firmware updates, is APRS, and I did see another model that was showing off Bluetooth. I cannot confirm that or not. It is capable of having firmware updates. Right now in the model I have, there is a menu for APRS. A little birdie told me that they are trying to get that to work in a future firmware, but I cannot confirm that or not. So let's cross our fingers and uh, hope that happens. As you can see, it has airband receive. I am inside and it is laying flat on a table, so the reception isn't the best indoors, but it does work pretty well. There were now 8,600 climbing flight level 190, up one. If you press this top button here on the side, you can access the FM radio or program it to a different hotkey if you'd like. Okay, I'm gonna show you a really cool feature it has. It has this seek feature. If you hold this green button here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in the other room and I'm gonna transmit on this frequency on 146.420, and this radio, as you can see, is on 220. And then I'm gonna have it on the scan feature and see if it will pick up this frequency on the radio. Okay, let's put it on seek by pressing the green button. Okay, it says seeking. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the other room. We'll leave this radio here on seek. Okay, cool. It looks like it. It looks like it picked it up, and uh, someone seemed to answer me back when I was testing. There, I was very surprised someone was on this frequency. It does have the weather channels and weather alert. Uh, for some reason, when I'm going to the menu, and then I go to the weather channels. And then I select one, I don't hear anything. I don't know if I'm doing this wrong or what. I can't, there's gotta be a hotkey to go through them. I had to manually enter it, but it does boast about how it has this NOAA weather alert that you can turn on. And then if there's a severe weather alert, it should automatically turn on the weather. You're hearing it right now because I punch in the frequency manually. I don't know if that's something I'm doing or wrong or not. Uh, please comment below if you know, but it does receive the NOAA weather channels. Okay, it looks like the frequency range I'm getting on this thing is from 108 on the AM up to 599.5 on the FM. That's with the no unlocks or anything straight out of the box. This is a tri-band radio, so it does transmit on your 220, your 70 centimeter, and your two meters, and also you do have the AM airband receive. It does have the USB-C charging on the back, or you can do the dock charging. It has 
the normal Kenwood jack on the side for your mic, earphone, and programming purposes. So if you're thinking, wow, that looks a lot like the original UV5R or F8HP or whatever, they're all in the same case here. Well, it's actually quite a lot bigger than it. As you can see, it has the color screen. Um, this radio has 640 channels and it also has 10 zones. So you can organize your stuff. Like say you have a zone that is all ham radio, a zone that is GMRS, maybe a, jo a zone that monitors analog fire frequencies, uh, and uh, a zone for 220. Whatever you want to set it up for, you can uh, do that with your 10 zones, 640 channels. This is 199 channels with the old uh, screen here that is not color. This has a much smaller battery that comes on the original. This one has a 2500 milliamp hour battery on it. All right, let's take a closer look at some of these menus on here. I feel like it's uh, structured kind of like a DMR radio. Uh, it's, I like it better though because it's not everything all bunched together. So you have your scan uh, menu here. You can go through and select all your options for your scanning. You have your radio settings in another sub menu. You can set all of your radio settings within this sub menu. Uh, to program a channel, it's got that on its own menu for that, which makes it a lot easier to program a channel manually. I know that can be difficult on some of these bow fangs if you don't know what you're doing. So that is uh, definitely helpful. Radio info, you can get your version. So there's a firmware version which tells me that they're gonna be updating. And actually a little insider info, I heard this uh, might be coming out with APRS. We'll get to that later. If you see under the GNSS, that's your GPS. Very cool feature of this radio. You can turn the GPS, and if you have another radio that is the same type of bow fang, you can send your GPS location. Here, I'll go ahead and uh, I'm gonna have to blur it out because I'm at my location, but if you wanted to see your location, as you can see there, it's gonna tell your latitude, your longitude, you can use these arrows and get some more information, your speed, Oh, it even gives you the altitude. Very cool. I'm indoors and this is getting a lock. Oh, I got 10 satellites indoors. So this actually has a pretty darn good GPS module in it, I have to say. So you can go to share position. You can turn this on if you want to share your position with another radio. I'm gonna have to show you that a little more in depth at the computer. You can also request the position. So once these are both programmed correctly, you'll be able to send the position from anyone that has these radios back and forth, your GPS position on the mountain or whatever you're doing, hiking or whatever. So as you can see, there is an option for APRS. I've been told this isn't working yet and that they're working on it. It may come in a future firmware. So as far as I understand right now, it is not working. Uh, that would be rad if you guys could get this working. We would all really appreciate that. And then I have seen in a different model, there was uh, a Bluetooth. I don't have that in these models. I don't know if that's gonna be coming out in a future firmware or not. Don't quote me, but let's all cross our fingers. Um, then you have your NOAA weather. So you can turn on the weather. This is what I was saying. If this is where you access those channels, I wasn't getting them to play anything. Maybe that's something I'm doing wrong. I think this just might be setting it up for what channel you want it when the weather alert goes off. Okay, let's take a look what's in the box. I was actually surprised because there is a little bit of different stuff that comes in this box for once. And that's always exciting because it's usually just the dock and the radio and the lanyard. So you get your radio. You get your 2500 milliamp lithium ion battery. You get one antenna that says it is good for 220 in 70 centimeters. You get a manual. It is in English. Uh, it's very fine print. I have a hard time reading now that I'm getting older. I'm not gonna lie. 
the, some of this stuff about the GPS, it's not very clear. It should tell you, hey, to get this work in, you need to go to the CPS. Um, not really digging some of the stuff in the manual. It could be a little bit clearer in, in larger font, but it does kind of get the point through. I just go to YouTube and uh, figure it out that way. You get the lanyard. Here's some of the, the interesting stuff that I haven't seen included in one. It looks like you get the hand mic. I don't know if this is a speaker mic too or what. It looks like it might be. So that was included in here. You get the USB-C to USB-A. Ooh. You get the secret surface earpiece. Hopefully those are working better than they used to be. You get the belt clip, woohoo! Belt clip is always nice on a radio, definitely. And then another thing, some of these don't come with, you get the power bank with the USB-C and there's no dock in here, that's fine. I don't personally use any docks anymore and I have way too many laying around. That's what's in the box. Okay, keep in mind, if you do want to use the GPS feature, you need to have other radios that are the same radio. You can't just use your old, Baofeng and try to send the GPS. It's not gonna work that way. You have to have this model to send it and they each have to have their unique ID to be able to do that, which you can program in the CPS, which is not hard at all. You can't do that from the radio. You need to set it up in the CPS. This thing is so new that there is no chirp programming available for it yet. I'm hoping there will be soon, but uh, Baofeng does provide their own CPS, which is real easy to use. It's pretty much the same as like a DM, DMR radio kind of layout there, but no DMR, it's all analog to set it up, which is pretty simple. You can set up the IDs for each radio, like for example, member one, member two, member three, et cetera, et cetera. Or you could name it Ricky, Bobby, Ricky, Bobby, you know, however you want to do it. You can set it up in the CPS, but you're going to need to do that to get the GPS sending properly because i think by all default they come as member one and that's not going to work they're going to have the same id so you got to set that up in the cps which is not if you are interested in the baofeng uv 5r m plus gps ham radio <laughs> radio oddity does have them on their site it looks like right now at the time of the video they are 44.95 Keep in mind, if you do want to use the GPS function, you're going to need multiple radios for that to work in between the, those type of radios. Um, that being said, I do have a coupon link for purchases over $65 site-wide at Radio Oddity. I will post a link below in the video description. Thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you on the next one.